Good morning, folks. Today we are going to be doing some tracking tests with the DJI Mini 3. And I'm going to be using the RCN1 mounted to my e-bike. Now, the only reason I'm using the RCN1 is because I have a mount for it. You can see there. Um, there's not one for the DJI RC Pro, uh, but they should function basically the same. So this will work for now. So yeah, we're just out at a field here. Uh, there's a lot of elevation change, a lot of trees around. Uh, there are some wires over there, so it'd be a good place to test it out to see how well it does. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the Mini 3 here is that it doesn't have any sideways sensors, so we will have to be careful of that. But we do have the front-facing sensors, the rear-facing sensors, and of course we have the bottom ones. And uh, so it should perform just fine. Um, the system isn't quite as robust as something like the Mavic 3 with all the features or settings for angle and placement. It has the older style tracking where you can just do trace or parallel. So yeah, I'm just going to get the drone up in the air and uh, we'll do some tracking. Yeah, and here is where it's going to get a little tricky. I don't think, yeah, there's no way it's going to come through here. We'll see what it does. Yeah, it's already lost me. Let's see what it does now. There's some more trees coming up here, so we'll see how well it can perform. Gonna actually maybe raise the drone up a little bit, get some more height. So far, so good. So that was actually a pretty good test coming up this hill. Um, you know, it shows you that the drone can increase its altitude as it's flying. And again, I'm going down a hill here now. Uh, it's hard to tell on the camera how steep it is, but it's fairly significant. So we'll see how it does with that. A lot of big ruts here I have to be careful of. And again, sorry about the squeaky brakes. have to get that all lubed up. Okay, uh, let's go down this path here because there's some trees. We can see how the obstacle avoidance works. <clears throat> Ooh, gets a little tight up here again. So let's see what it does. Hopefully I don't crash my drone. I've only had it for about four days. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be able to get through all this. Eh, it might. Maybe if I lower it down. Whoa. Yeah, just lowered the altitude there, see if it can come through. So it's tracking us again. Just gave it a bit more altitude, and uh, yeah, we'll find another path through here. Yeah, let's maybe cut through here. I think there's a path. Oh, this grass is wet. Oh, there's another trail up this way. So let's uh, grab on that one, or we'll hop on that one, I should say.
So I'm doing about 15 kilometers an hour right now, or 15 or 12 miles per hour. There's a low hanging tree here, so let's see what it does with it. Hopefully it doesn't just fly right into it. Oh, yeah, went around. Good job, good job there, buddy. Okay, that's the end of this trail, so I think I'm gonna turn around. Let's go here, but now it's filming into the sun again. I think it has a hard time seeing me, so I'm not gonna go too fast. Again, there's that low overhanging tree. Let's see if it can traverse around it. Yep. So far, so good. Oh, looks like it's getting hung up there. Oh, I actually found a way around it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah, so far I'm actually pretty impressed. You know, it's lost me a few times, but, uh, you know, my Air 2S, my Mavic 3 will sometimes lose me as well, so... Heck, even my uh, Skydio 2 has lost me from time to time. Let's uh, pick up the speed a bit. Kind of going beside me there a little bit. Now there are some wires up here ahead. So we'll see how it does. I might actually lower the altitude a bit. I'll just go through really slow. There we go. And as we were. So I'm doing 20 mile an hour right now. And it's still able to keep up with me. Okay, let's go back and get on the trail. There's wires up here, so hopefully it won't hit them. Now the trees get a little thick back in here. We'll see how it does. Yeah, it gets pretty thick here. I don't know if it's gonna be able to make it through or not. And uh got through that one but it's really low overhanging here Maybe if we lower the altitude a bit let's see if it can get through and yes indeed it did
Okay, so we are going to do some active tracking again, and this time we're going to be following my car. And uh, one question that I've had is whether it can active track when you're in vertical mode. And that's actually a really good question, so that's actually what we're going to test out today. Uh, so what we're going to do here is put it into vertical mode. And uh, let's see if we can um, get it to select the car and track us. So... And there you go. There's your answer. No active track in portrait mode. But that's okay. We're still going to do a quick test here. And um, I'm actually going to record. Now I have to record to the internal storage of my phone because I forgot my memory card, but that's okay. This is just a test anyways. So we'll select our car. And we'll select active track. And we'll just leave it on trace. I'm just going to raise the altitude a bit. Go back a little. And there we go. So we are now tracking. So let's just uh, go for a little bit of a drive here. And uh, hopefully we don't get disconnected. A lot of trees around here. So uh, we'll see how she fares. Guess I better put my seatbelt on so you don't have to listen to that binging. kind of a back road we shouldn't really run into too many other vehicles but uh, if we happen to run into anybody I'll just pull over and let them pass and I'm not going to drive too fast right now I'm doing about 30 kilometers an hour and it's able to keep up with no issue now up above here there is a busy highway so I will have to watch where the drone goes because obviously we don't want to fly over the highway but yeah looks like it's doing pretty good let me increase the speed here. I'm doing uh, 40 kilometers an hour now. And uh, so far it's able to hold up just nicely. And then up here there's a bend. And what I'm going to do is just turn around and head back the other way. And um, I'm going to see if it will maintain me while I'm doing a three point turn. Oh, I better slow down. It's starting to lose me there. Here it comes. Looks like it still has me. So that's good. Yeah, I was getting a little too fast there for it. So yeah, I'm going to maybe just do a three-point turn here. And uh, let's see what the drone does. Still has me. It's kind of following me from the front right now. Flying backwards. And you can see there, now it's going around to the side and it's going to get in behind me there. So yeah, actually did pretty good there. Quite impressed. This drone has actually been quite impressing me, um, just its capabilities. So now we're heading back into the trees here. I better slow down. I was up doing around 50 there. We'll just uh, go to where we started from and then uh, that should be good enough for this test. Don't crash, little buddy. I'm not done testing you yet. Oh. Let's go a little slower maybe through these trees here just so it can react if it needs to. And there's a big stick sticking out up here. Hopefully it can see it. Yeah, pretty good. So I'm just going to pull over right here. And uh, that will conclude the test for now. So yeah, folks, that was our little active track test with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, for the most part, I think it did a great job. Lost me a few times, uh, but like I said, most drones do from time to time. Uh, there's a few times that it kind of lost me, but was able to pick me back up. And it actually traversed around quite a few obstacles. Um, did actually a pretty good job. Didn't crash, didn't clip anything. So yeah, not a bad little drone for tracking if that's something you're interested in. 
Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.